Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please be seated because we'll be having another performance by Alfredo's Ensemble after this, okay? Sit back, relax. Alfredo's is a multicultural ensemble based in Grenada, Spain, and their music is unique uh, synthesis of Western classical, Celtic, Arabic, Turkish, Andalusi, and Flamenco reflecting the richness of their diverse cultural and musical background. Founded in 2012 by the English violinist and singer Ali Kida, the ensemble comprises musicians from England, Spain, Morocco and Venezuela. Trained in various musical traditions, they have performed in many countries and orchestras. Ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready? Give it up for Alfred Dow's Ensemble! أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليهم تتنزل عليهم الملائكة تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون نحن أولياؤكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة ولكم فيها ما تشتهي أنفسكم ولكم فيها ما تدعون نزلا من غفور رحيم ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم وما يلقاها إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقاها إلا ذو حظ عظيم آمنا بالله صدق الله العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Good evening everyone, welcome um, Salamat datang What is it? Yeah, wow I was risking And uh, we start this uh, evening of music, spiritual music the root of this is Sama, they call this kind of music Sama, which is very ancient, which literally means listening. So we try to listen, not with our ears, but try to listen with our hearts. And remember, because the memory of our spiritual home is with us. Maybe we don't think about it too much, but it's deep down. So. 
We hope that the music will help you connect with that inner space. And uh, just this is a recitation of Quran, which my son just recited. And within it, it has the words repel evil with goodness. And you will find that maybe your bitterest enemy will become an intimate friend. And one of the, the problems today, maybe the root of, of, the, of many conflicts, is actually ignorance. We don't know the other. So one of the things that's impressed me by Malaysia is this cultural mix and um, how people from different races and different religions live together peacefully. So Malaysia is an example for the world. <laughs> So we have uh, on the menu songs from different traditions, but united with one spirit.
Okay, the next song, I think maybe ma some of you, hopefully many of you, <coughs> know. It's called Ta'alama Ishku Gharami. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, this melody has many versions in different languages, you know, all over the Mediterranean, Greek, Arabic, Hebrew, and, and so forth. And the original was also the Turkish, it's a Turkish love song. And this is uh, also a love song, a song of longing to visit the beloved in Medina. <laughs> My longing has, is everlasting and oh, light of existence. Um, but before that, we have a small solo in Spanish, the Spanish language, which is reflective of the same meaning about the... How does it go? Can you... What is in Spanish? Florece en la Medina. Florece en la Medina is... Um, he flourishes... His presence. Uh, his presence flourishes in Medina. Luz de mi corazón. The light of my heart. Luz de mi creencia. The light of my belief. Razón de mi existencia. The reason for my existence. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Existencia 
Thank you very much. Now for something uh, Celtic. This is called Celtic Salawat. Literally Celtic blessings. So it's a prayer. <clears throat> so it's a prayer for blessings upon the, the Prophet and upon all prophets and men and women who have guided us with their wisdom and their example since the since the first man and woman.
So here we have a rendition which is uh, distinctively Andalusi in its melody and also its rhythms. And uh, maybe you can guess what the poem is. Guess any guesses what the poem may be? The most famous poem uh, from up there. They're awake, they're more awake upstairs, it seems, eh? Okay, <laughs> the Burda, the Burda, which is, literally means the cloak. And the, the author of this poem <coughs> was, it's actually a miracle because he was um, paralyzed. And in a dream, the Prophet came to him <laughs> with his mantle, with his uh, cloak. And he clothed him, and then on waking up, he was cured. And then he finished the poem. He was kind of, uh, he had started the poem, but he hadn't finished it. So this is when he finished the poem. And it's in the highest Arabic, highest Arabic language. He was a great scholar, and he used the highest Arabic in this poem, which um, of praise to the Prophet. and which has the whole of his life in this poem, narrated. Thank you. 
Yeah, let's be 